All right, guys, another video here on the Pistol X68 from Defense Innovations. Um, today we're going to try out uh, 88 gram. Uh, this is a six hour, it's actually a 90 gram. Um, yeah, right now I have in one of those, uh, that's a 38 gram CO2. So it's like almost half of one of these. Uh, yeah, it's equivalent to about just two grams more than three twelve grams CO2s. So yeah, that's just an adapter. This is a threaded. It's for the threaded CO2s. It's got a piercer inside. But um, yeah, I get some Grindberg jewels here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna plug this in. Oh, one second here. Actually, wait, I'm going to pierce the CO2 first inside, then put it in. Um, well, let me put this on the stand here. There, let's reset this here for a second. I'm going to crack this open. Okay, so, we got the rock. Jewels in. I think you can stick one up in the breech so we can get seven. Yes, we can. All right, there. So I swapped out that uh, 38 gram for the 88 gram. Um, this is going to be more set for like a carbine build. But I just want to see, because in most builds, most marker builds that we test, and especially once you take the 12 gram out of the pistols in most Umarex markers and stuff, it creates a big, large air chamber. But this seems to be restricted. It seems to have a plenum up in here, and there's also a restriction pin. It's a built-in restrictor instead of a restrictor plug. It's got like its own restrictor inside that you drill through, kind of like the torpedo revolver. I've shown videos on that before too. I'll get into that. I think I'm going to get a second pistol and try to modify it further. <clears throat> but as is, you really don't need to. <laughs> but you know me. <clears throat> Just trying to push things. Alright, so. There is the crony. Um, okay, now let's. Not sure what to expect with this because it's a different build. So I didn't really like the HPA. I used 1100 HPA and I only got two FPS more than a 12 gram. Turn the coin back on. Whoops. <clears throat> All right, let's gas up here. Okay. So. Okay. There it goes. I gotta change all these O-rings in here. I just changed the one so far, so oh that's yeah, okay. That sounds like it it's hard to say which one that could be, but anyways, just want to test that out. Doesn't seem like anything any different, really, in this marker. Like I said, if it's got that plenum in there, it'll only hold so much. So, and then when it releases, it fills back up and releases. And then, yeah, so in order to get the more power, that plenum has to be enlarged. 
But anyways, we got the shots is staying pretty consistent with the bigger CO2s. Um, so yeah, so it's it's about the same. It's around 50, 51 joules. <clears throat> uh, FPS. Um, eight. Eight meters on screen. Yeah, so again, we're still at 51 joules, so we're getting the same numbers with uh, HPA as well, 1100 HPA. So, yeah, it, it, I've tried everything. I've tried 12 gram, I've tried 88 gram. Um, I've done 800 PSI HPA, I've done 1100 HPI, and you can't get any, I can't get anything over 51 joules. That's the highest I can go no matter what air source I use. So, it's definitely restricted inside. Um, I see Dan as he's he's had his opened up and said it didn't make any difference. So I think it's up in that air plenum. It's just it's just like a PCP rifle when you change your add a new power plenum into it. Like you can usually get them like an inch longer or however longer, and then it just it gives you a big boost in power. And then providing you open up all the ports and tighten your hammer springs and all that whatever. But in this, there seems to be a power spring and, or sorry, um, a power plenum, like an air plenum that fills up. So every time you shoot, that plenum will be fill up. And then when you fire, it releases that entire plenum. So you can only get so much air into that. So you're limited to power that way. Um, like it seems jacking up the PSI don't even really matter, which it should. But, and also there's like a, a micro size restriction hole up in the pistol grip but anyways guys um i gotta wait for proper o-rings to come so uh, i don't know which one that is yet because there is a bunch of them now inside instead of just a basic valve heat core style o-ring now you got to worry about one two three there's three of them just off the back of my head i can think of but yeah anyways guys um doesn't matter what you throw into this marker. It's just, it's a 50 joule marker. Um, the only way now to get this out without, without further modificating, sorry, modifications to the inside or the core or any of the parts, the valve or drilling before you do any of that, um, on a barrel extension, um, will get you a power jump. I see Sterling in his videos is getting up to 70 joules with just a little tiny extension tip. So, once again, if you want that extra kick and power, it's not really ideal for carry and conceal because, I mean, the bigger you get, I mean, it's hardly concealable as is, man. I mean, you can. Some people claim they have and stuff and it works for them. And I guess if you had that belt band, it probably hides a little bit better. But, um, yeah, when you got a big, long barrel, it's going to be that much harder. So it's great for home defense, guys. Um. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, I'm looking forward to these long barrels too because that's just me. I'm not a pistol guy, but we can't conceal and carry nothing up here. So, Anyways, guys, um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm going to have to get a second one and see it, but I'm actually happy where this is. Like, I'm happy with the 50 joules. The extra air source allows you to keep your, uh, your PSI is up a little bit higher, so... Instead of one mag, you might be able to get two good, decent shot mags. <clears throat> um, we got a little failure there. But we'll fix that up and we'll try again. I'm going to try with the... Uh, I'm going to try with the 88 gram. Or sorry, not the 88 gram. The, just to see how many shots we get with the 38 gram. That little stumpy guy. <clears throat> Yes, like those, even those last shots that I was firing, those were still in the 45 joule range. So, yeah, you're going to get a few good magazines off of 88 gram. But you know, they'll be decent. Um, and especially if you're able to break and, and hold off a couple seconds to let it warm. 
But I'm interested to check out the 38 gram. I just got to fix these seals up and then we'll give her another go. But yeah, until then guys, stay safe. Take care as always.